conversation with Nena Lal Sridwar, Country Head HSBC India and Director HSBC Asia Pacific. She is considered to be an authority in finance, economy and policy. She is an enviable access to corporate India as well as to decision makers in government. Thank you so much for joining us, Nena. I've been looking at your list of achievements as well as your career track. I'm going to list a few things because it's a long list. Uh, you were the first Indian woman to graduate out of Harvard Business School. Very sad social comment. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great comment, though. <laughs> Uh, it's a great first to have. It's just um, they didn't send the women soon enough. Right, yeah. and you had the vision to go early on. <laughs> um, you joined ANZ Brindley's. You went to Morgan Stanley. You helped uh, form their joint venture with GM Financial. Yes. You went to HSBC, and in less than 15 years, you're heading the group's operations in this country. You're a recipient of the Padma Shri, yes. and many, many more things. You've written a book as well. How do you find the time to fit all this? How do you find the time to keep achieving? What drives you? Is it a very personal sort of fire in your belly? Well, I think uh, there are times when things just uh, strike you as things that need to be done. Uh, the book is an example. Uh, uh, it was highlighted to me that there was no book on contemporary banking in India. And I thought, well, this sounds wrong. We should have a book on banking in India when the banking sector is held up as being what it is one of the best performing sectors anywhere in the world and not having the time to write it myself did the next best thing which is sourced 20 of the best minds in banking. So it's often just something that catches your imagination, your fancy and then somehow you find a solution uh, and time to make it work. But time is always in short supply. But there's still obviously a pursuit of personal excellence aside from what you're doing career wise. I, I don't know if one sets it as a goal, Devna. It's not as if I'm pursuing excellence. I think I'm intellectually very restless by nature. I've always been. So I'm a little like an intellectual sponge that, you know, if there's information, I will run after it. If I need stimulation of an intellectual order, uh, I need new things to work on. And I think it is that restlessness which keeps me going mm. because that's what leads me to read, that's what leads me to uh, seek uh, new ways of keeping engaged. And that's really what led me to a career in investment banking originally. Uh, yeah. How did you know you wanted to pursue finance? I think uh, to say that I knew I wanted to do investment banking uh, would make me sound much more clear-headed than I was at the time. I wasn't. Uh, it was a very rational discussion with my father who uh, being head of an insurance company understood the finance world. Uh, it was working within constraints because it was pretty clear at the time that if as I did want a career that I was very clear about. Yeah. A role in banking was going to be the more likely one than a role say in marketing. And uh, then within banking, why investment banking? I think that got shaped largely uh, by because investment banking was very new in India and quite young. Uh, the largest investment bank in India at the time was uh, Grindley's Bank. Mm. Uh, but that really, by the time I was at Harvard Business School, as indeed it stays even today, uh, a large number of the students really aspired to join investment banks or consulting. And uh, I think that shaped my own uh, view then. So typical of, you know, it was the father and parents on the one side and a peer group on the other. And uh, hence, what emerged was actually a pretty conventional choice, which was investment banking. You seem to have been associated more with foreign banks yeah. uh, than Indian. Is that just uh, a coincidence or is that just your educational background, exposure? I think uh, at the time uh, when I applied uh, in India, it was twofold. One was, of course, foreign banks were very much the aspiration. They paid better. Uh, they supposedly had it, you know, a better a work environment because don't forget at that time there were no Indian banks as such uh, in the private sector. Yeah. There were public sector banks and foreign banks. Yeah. ICICI was a project finance uh, sure. institution. Uh, the other banks like HDFC and Axis didn't even exist. Mm. So what you had was really a choice of public sector or foreign. So the choice of foreign was almost a given. And uh, amongst the foreign banks, maybe a hope in my mind that they were a little more tuned in to hiring women. And that was quite a big decision at the time. You're very systematic. So does mm. that work well with, the, with, with a foreign bank? Yeah. Is that, you know, it sort of suits you. It suits your personality, your way of working. Yeah. 
a little more of an entrepreneur in as much as I have been involved in setting up new ventures and finding new solutions. Uh, a classic was in fact at Morgan Stanley and it took a lot more time to finally arrive at what was absolutely the right decision for us, which is to do the joint venture with JM Financial. And it wasn't something I was dreaming up. A DSP Merrill had already happened, but to get there, be very clear that's where we needed to go and to get there and then get the whole thing going was just a lot of fun. And then other things like uh, the acquisition of uh, what was ILFS Investmart, yes. which is the uh, retail broking company HSBC has. Uh, and I've really enjoyed things like the startup that our insurance company was, which is HSBC with Canada and OBC. What is critical for me is to have a team which is diverse. Mm. Not everybody who looks and thinks and feels like me, people who have views, people who have opinions, but people who are absolutely at the top of their game. Yeah. They have a commitment to make sure that they deliver and that they are well regarded in what they do. Yeah. Uh, in organizations like ours, you can't always pick your team. Uh, I arrived into a role as CEO of a bank with people who were already there. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing their roles. You learn to respect people for who they are and what they do, mm -hmm. not because they have uh, an individual loyalty to you or because they're your person. And when you work like that, you know that having the right capability around you is really key. Do you have the Indie TV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready-made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at IndieTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.